Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the third lecture of Ansible series where in this lecture we will try to configure Ansible Manage Nodes and try to connect the Manage Node from the Master Engine which we created as part of our last lecture. So for that, uh, first of all we have to provision the Manage Nodes basically in AWS. As I said, my platform is AWS and I'm provisioning every server in AWS. And the same requirement, Python has to be there, but there is a note also that we can also work without Python on the managed node using raw modules. I will show you that, but first of all, let's provision the servers, which we called as managed node. So I, I have already created servers in Amazon, which I called as node 01 and node 02. I'm connected to node 01 and node 02 as well and I have done a yum update too. So this is my node 01 as you can see this is my node 02. Let me do host name CTL just want to show you this is node 02. Now if you see this is our master engine which we created as part of our last lecture. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do, let's go back to our presentation. Now, as part of our presentation or the steps, we already have this provision. Let's confirm the Python version on the manage node. Let me maximize node two as well. Clear. Python hyphen version 2.7.5 this is my master engine so let me minimize this this is another node clear python hyphen hyphen version so we have same version across our machine and i'm using centos this is not necessary to use centos you can use amazon linux you can use debian you can use fedora depend upon your requirement you can use anything right so flavor of OS is not a concern over here. Now let's go back to our presentation. Let's see the next step. So master node requires an SSH connection to work with managed node. As part of our architectural knowledge, what we saw like master node connects to the managed nodes with the help of SSH connection in terms of Linux and WinRM in terms of Windows. So that's why we need to have an SSH connection between the master engine and the managed node. Okay. Let's go back our first part. So SSH connection can be created in two ways. One is password with password authentication. One is password less authentication where SSH keys will help us to authenticate master engine to managed node, right? So, we can provide for the password authentication, we can provide remote username and password, which means for Ansible engine, we are saying, hey, this is your username and configured password to work with your managed node. So for this video, I'm going to use password less authentication. First of all, I will show you how you can connect with password and then we will go with the password less authentication as well. And then managed node, we have to give uh, the IP address or FQDN. If you have FQDN, you can give the FQDN name of that server into the Ansible inventory file. And finally, we will test our configuration with the help of adopt command, where we will try to ping all the managed node from the master engine. So let's go to our second part where steps to follow. First of all, we will be going to create a common username, Ansible admin, on all the servers master plus manage so you can use also root most of the organization uses root but it's preferred not to use root for all such privileges it's better to create a unique user for such operations especially when you're working with ansible you can name it as per your requirement it's not required to be ansible admin or ans admin or anything like that based upon your requirement you can create user and while creating that user we have to give that user as root privileges. So let's try to create a user on all the nodes, including master. Okay. So how to do that? 
this is my node 0 1 so let's do that user add ansible admin then we will give password to ansible admin as ansible admin at one two three four ansible admin at one two three four perfect let's do on node two user and these are basic linux operations so you guys must be having that much of uh, expertise to create such still i'll try to share all these commands in the description section okay pass wd ansible and ansible admin at one two three four and sible oh sorry ansible admin at one two three four doesn't match ansible admin at one two three four and sible admin at one two three four perfect so this is already cre also created now i am into master node i'll do the same clear user add ansible admin passwd ansible admin password ansible admin at one two three four and simple admin at one two three four so we have created on all the three servers our ansible admin user so let's go back to our presentation now we have to give them a root privileges how you can give root privileges over here so there is a file called vsudo hit enter and go at the bottom where we will be going to add ansible admin as a root privileges without password so let's do that okay ansible admin and we can copy this one paste it again i'm copying this line because we'll use the same line across all come on okay this is save this is my master let's do on other node as well v sudo at the bottom and we will add the same line what we have copied from the master okay so paste it and sibyl admin the spelling is correct come on and we'll add over here as well so this will help us to log in with the help of ansible admin with root privileges as part of our steps let's add it over here as well okay so this part is done going back to our presentation root privileges to ansible admin is given now the third is password authentication should be set to yes on all the servers why this is required because at the time of first login while sharing the ssh key with public and private with the managed node we will use this password and after that it will be all passwordless authentication because the key already been shared with the managed node so and this has to be done on the master server okay this is my master server now here what i have to do bi hc ssh sshd conf enter and search for password let's see so it's already set to yes in the master and let's quit from here sorry uh, i guess i said it has to be set on master only no it has to be set on all the servers even the managed node let's do 
vi hc ssh sshd conf search here again password here it is no let's change that to yes okay yes save it and we will restart system ctl restart sshd done and last one this is node 01 let's check here as well vi hc ssh sshd conf password here it is set to yes perfect so all done let's go back to our presentation and the steps we have to generate an ssh keys from keygen command from ansible admin so we have to enter into ansible admin as root from there on master node only we will generate a key and share with the other servers so let's go to our master this is our master 10 to 0 12 now let's do sudo su su sorry ansible admin here we go let's look at the files so we don't have any ssh folder dot ssh folder consisting of your public and private key now we will be going to create that with the help of ssh hyphen keygen that's the command to create your key enter just enter enter and done now if we look at the file section as you can see we have now dot ssh folder let's navigate ssh folder al now this is the public key this is the private key in order to share this key with rest of the servers what we have to do we have to use copy so let's go back here copy the pub key using ssh copy id this and to the home location of server so what we have to do and we will run this from the same ssh folder copy id now let's go back to our aws management console so i'm running this with public ip in a public subnet in an ideal production world it has to be run on the private subnets right because all your servers all your production workload staging workload mostly we as part of the security best practices we provision all servers in the private subnet so for that i have to use public if it is a private environment then you have to use the private ip address okay and i just want to confirm one more thing host name from this 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 perfect let's click enter it's asking yes and asking for the password right because the password authentication was set to yes so and oh and sybil admin at one two three four let's see perfect it's already added now as you can see check to make sure uh, try logging to this one and check to make sure if the keys are added or not so for that what we have to do ssh and sybil and sybil admin at and we will copy the public ip over here enter here we go as you can see ansible admin node 01 right this is ansible admin node 01 225 now you locked in without giving the password first time we given the password just because we want to share the keys right this time when you try because the keys are already added now you are logged in with ansible admin onto that particular user on that particular server without password so if you do ls hyphen al you will see everything it over here and you can perform a lot of different functions so let's exit it out first i'm into my master again because i'll share the same key with other server right let's copy the public ip of other server 
ssh sorry ssh copy id i guess it's the same command right uh where is the command i believe it is same ssh copy id and the host name that's right enter yes and looking for the password which is ansible admin at one two three four perfect and let's try ssh enter node zero two perfect which means our key exchange has been done successfully and this particular step is verified without having the password step is to test the ping connection using ansible ad hoc command how to do that the command will not work directly but we have to do some sort of configuration again so let's go to the master one if you remember the conceptual part of the lecture first we discussed about certain files right host inventory so what exactly is that where we update all our managed node ip addresses or fqdn if you already have it so i'm into ansible directory so if i do ls as you can see we have host file now do vi host it has to be sudo because i am not sudo to it now here you can see if you observe this particular file there are like lot of things you are getting a dns you are giving like an ip address if you have then a segregation of the group like web servers under this we have this so again when we will be going to discuss the grouping of all your servers and everything we will discuss that in detail but for now let's insert our values of servers what we have provisioned from amazon let's copy the ip address enter let's copy another ip address enter save it perfect let's try ansible what was the command sorry i forgot that ansible all hyphen m ping let's see do we get a response perfect we are getting a response we are getting a success ping pong for first managed node for second managed node which means we are able to communicate as well so ansible ad hoc command is also working perfectly fine this covers our demo of the configuration side with passwordless authentication so you have the master engine configured you have the slave so basically managed node ansible managed node we've configured that as well we configured the passwordless authentication and we were able to run our first ad hoc command of ansible which is ansible all space hyphen m ping and everything worked perfectly fine so one last part which i want to cover as part of this lecture if we go back to our result section you can see this is server one we are getting ansible fact discovering the python location on that server we are getting the same result over here no changing changes false so we are not changing anything on the remote node the same result is over here as well and in terms of ping response we are getting pong which means we are able to communicate properly so our configuration is perfectly fine so i hope this clears a lot in terms of the configuration of ansible master and the managed node how we connect from one place to another and running of your ansible command so see you in next lecture with more practical labs and more concepts have a nice day bye bye